So in the top, there's a blank entry. So I'd like you guys to write in the zero product property so we can go and explain it. And basically what the zero product property, all that simply states is that when you have the product of two or more expressions, terms, set equal to zero, then one or the other or both have to equal zero. So basically, the zero property states like this. If you have two terms set equal to 0, then a equals 0 or b equals 0. And remember, or is inclusive, meaning it could be one or the other or both. All right? Do you guys agree with me that if, if these two numbers, whatever these numbers are, equal 0, the product of them, one of them has to be, at least one of them has to be 0, or they could both be 0. In the same respect, if I had an expression times another expression equal to 0, then one of these expressions, since it's the product of those two expressions, one of those expressions has to be equal to 0. So when you have the 0 product property, when you have two expressions um, or two terms multiplied to equal 0, you basically just set them equal to 0. And now what's nice about the 0 product property is now when you set your two expressions equal to 0, because you know one or both of them have to equal 0, you can now go ahead and solve. Oops. I meant to use a different variable, but that's OK. Anybody have any questions on that? No. So I think you guys write that in for your notes. I should have written that down.